Jared Cannonier versus Cal Baraglio. Um Cannonier had a tough loss to Emmabov in his last fight. Yeah. Uh, he was probably winning the first two rounds. The third round, he might have lost. The fourth round, he was losing, and that's where the fight ended. I feel like it was ended early. <laughs> yeah, it was. I feel like, I feel like Cannonier still had it in him, and I think Cannonier could have won. And if he would have won, he would have been on a three-fight win streak after beating Vittori and Strickland. And he would have been on his way to potentially a, a, potentially a title shot. I don't know, a title contention fight at the very least. He's um, definitely close, yeah. Yeah. So, but then you got Calvaraglio. He's 6-0 and in the UFC. He's on, I, I think it's like a six or seven fight win streak here as well, just in total. Oh, way more than that. Way more. Um, he's like on a 14 fight win streak and he's got a no contest in there as well. Um, so he's been good shit. The, the, the thing about Cal is that um, in the past, it seemed like he had that kind of um, a bit more knockout power, but in his past, like in his six wins in the UFC, four of them have been by decision. And I think he's got one KO and one submission in there as well. So although he's been winning, he hasn't been decisive in a sense, you know, but the thing is that he just always finds a way to win. It seems like, yeah. um, so yeah, I don't know. It, it, it is Cal's like first real test in the UFC. Like I think he, he fought Paul Craig last fight and like, he knocked him the beat fuck out. Paul Craig. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we'll put it that way, but, I'm leaning with Cal here just based on like you got the the up and comer versus the older guy, you know. But uh, it's tough because I, I don't think Cannonier should be taken lightly, even if the odd makers say he should be. <laughs> no, this might be the best underdog odds on the card for Jared Cannonier yeah. here. I mean, this is a guy that you know fought a good fight against Israel Asanya for the title just a couple of years ago. Um, he's definitely older, he's 40. Kai Barrio is definitely in the prime of his career. Um, it's a close one. I really like the odds for Cannoneer. I, I just don't know if I can take them. Um, uh, do I think that it was an early stoppage against uh, Imavov? Yeah, I do. I do think Imavov was probably close to finishing him there, but I do think that it was way too early. I don't think that's indicative of like Cannoneer necessarily slowing down because of his age, though, which I have seen some people saying. I think it's just he got caught because I think he was winning that fight up until that moment. Um, this is this is tough. I think I like Kyle. Plus, he's a he's a friend of Inside Fighting, so we're cool with him. But you know, he's ever every single UFC fight he's had, he's looked really good. He's been dominant since the Contender Series. Every single fight he's been in has either been a unanimous decision or a finish. Um, you know, there's really not, no controversy in any of his fights. This is definitely the biggest test of his career. If he can survive this test, I do think he's in line for a title contender fight. Um, yeah, I'm leading Kayo, and I think I'm leading him by decision here, only because I just don't see him. Like, I, you know, I could see him submitting Cannoneer because I do think that Kayo's grappling is a clear advantage. Uh, mm -hmm. if I were to see this fight going anywhere, but I do think he's really good on his feet too, where he can, he can survive those exchanges with Canada on the feet to like, to getting him to the ground and submitting him. So I would actually pick, if there's a finish here, it's going to be submission, but, uh, I would lean decision, but I would bet, bet submission, if that makes sense. Yeah. You're almost talking about like the, 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 the two way. Right. Uh, yeah, exactly. Where it's like submission or the decision win. Exactly. Yeah. That's what, that's yeah, how I, I would bet. It. So, yeah, I, I agree with you that, Cannonier's fight versus Imavov wasn't indicative. Like, like him losing wasn't indicative of his like age. But I think like now that the momentum has been stopped from his two wins, yeah, I think that's when age catches up. You yeah. know, is as soon as you're done with the momentum, there's like, because what is he fighting for now? You know, well, that's the thing. He, if he loses this fight, he can say goodbye to ever winning the U a UFC title, basically. But let's say let's say he wins, he's still got probably two wins he needs before he gets another title shot, right? It's not, yeah. he's not going up to title contention next. So yeah, no. there's too many people who are fighting for the belt. Whitaker, right Hamza, Izzy, uh, you got to get past um, Strickland. Is Strickland. Next. 
yeah, it's there's just like there's four other guys, and then there's like there's there's Brendan Allen who's climbing yeah. who just beat did he beat Cannoneer? No, who did uh, no 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 I forget who he just beat, but oh he just beat um oh my god who did he just anyways whatever Brendan Allen's another guy so it's like there's just a lot of people that that are gonna be in in, in front of the line here you got to win this fight if you ever have a shot yeah so. you even have Imovov again right like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, no, he, Imovov too, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have Imovov, you have Vittori who hasn't fought in forever, so yeah, that those guys aren't in title contention yet, but that's a pretty stacked division, you know. So like, that's why it feels like he might come into this fight knowing that, mm -hmm. and it's hard to like keep yourself to the same standard. He probably would have kept himself for that Imovov fight to keep it going again. So yeah, but the, the more I think about it, I, I think this is a tough fight for Cannonier. Because I do think he's got good takedown. Uh, uh, something's blocking my screen here. What's his uh, 61%? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. got 61% takedown defense, which is still solid. But for a guy who gets, gets two takedown average and he has an accuracy of 63%, that's... Yeah, here's solid. the problem I'm having. So he doesn't... Kyle doesn't land a lot of strikes, but he's accurate and he uh, doesn't take any strikes. Only 2.06. Yeah. Uh, he, he he doesn't get hit a lot. And Jared Cannonier, he does throw a lot of volume. He he set the record against Vittori for like the significant strikes record, something like 270 or something like that in their, in their fight like a, a year back. I don't see that happening against Kyle Borayo because yeah. he's really good at not getting hit. So the, the more I think about it, I think it's a tough fight for Cannonier. But, um, you know, I still like the value on him, but I, I would yeah. think Kyle.